Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I will continue the tabular data interpretation. See the first question, what is given? First of all, we need to see the information which is provided in the uh, table. Here, the information is, study the following table carefully and answer the given questions. Uh, here, the information is about uh, marks obtained by different students uh, in different subjects. Here, each and every value in the table, which is given as uh, marks obtained by different students in different subjects. Here, several subjects are there, Hindi, English, Math, Social Studies, Science, Sanskrit and uh, Physics. Right? These are the different subjects uh, and uh, different persons are there, Anpama, Baska, Charu, Deepak, Garima and Vishal. These are the different persons. And uh, if you observe carefully, the values which are given in the brackets, uh, which are given in the brackets, all these values are maximum marks. Uh, here, this particular value is already mentioned. Here, in the values within the brackets, that indicates the maximum marks in that particular exam. So, it means that Anpama got 85 marks in Hindi out of 100 and uh, 95 marks out of 100 in English, 87 out of uh, 100 in Maths. Likewise, uh, here if you observe in Science, it is not out of 100, it is out of 75. She got uh, 65 marks. In that way, we need to check out each and every person marks. Now, if you look at the first question, what is the information, uh, what is the question he is asking? How many students have scored the lowest marks in two or more subjects? How many students? We need to ca calculate number of students who scored lowest marks in two or more than two subjects. So first we will check out this problem by individual subject. In Hindi, first subject is Hindi. In Hindi, Lowest marks, lowest marks for which student? Once check it out, Anpoma 85, 72 and Charu. And next, 55. 55 is lowest, that is Vishal. In Hindi, Vishal is lowest. Here we need to check it out the lowest marks. Similarly, English. English, who is the lowest person? 95, 97, 78, as of now 62, yeah, 62 is lowest, that is Deepak, Deepak. And next subject, Mathematics, Mathematics, lowest marks, Bhaskar 55, right, only 55. If you look at the remaining number 74, 69, 81, 65, Bhaskar is lowest, Bhaskar. And next one. Social studies. In social studies, once look at the values 87, 77 is lowest, 63 is lowest, 81, 79, 69, 63 is lowest, 63 that is Charu, that is Charu, okay. And next one, science. In science, who is the lowest? Guys, if you observe carefully, as of now, four different subjects and to four different persons. Here at least two or more than two subjects contains lowest marks. As of now we didn't get any of the answers. Once look at the science subject who is lowest marks. 65, 62 is lowest, 55 is lowest, 70, 49, 44 is lowest. 44 is for Vishal. In science, Vishal. Vishal is the guy already repeated. Vishal is the guy already repeated. Once look at the remaining also. Sanskrit and next one is uh, physics or else physical education. Now, in Sanskrit lowest marks 35, 41, 25 as of now 25. Below 25 no one is here, right? So, 25 is lowest that is uh, Charu. 25 is for Charu. Charu is also repeated twice. Charu. 1. And next, uh, finally, physical education, 71, 64, 53 is lowest, 50 is lowest, 30. 30 is lowest. 
30 is for Vishal. Vishal is already repeated twice. Now, if you observe carefully, Vishal got uh, three subjects uh, in lowest marks. Uh, in low, uh, lowest marks in three subjects. Whereas coming to Charu, two subjects. So, our required answer is uh, two. Why? Because uh, Vishal and Charu got scored lowest marks in two or more than two subjects. Option A is the right answer. Let us look at the next question. Information is same information. Every time no need of checking the, again reading the information is not required. Just go with the solution directly. Once read the question and calculate the answer accordingly. Who has scored the highest marks in all subjects together? Who has scored the highest marks in all subjects together? Right? Here, first, if you look at the answers carefully. In general, if you want to calculate the procedure method, what you have to do is uh, you need to verify each and every person's total value. Each and every person total. Right? Now, here you can calculate individually who is highest uh, 5, 5, 10, 17, 24, 24, 34, 34 plus 1, 36, 3 carry. Next 3 plus 7, 10, 13, 19, 27, 27 plus 8, 35, 35 plus 9, 44, 44 plus 8 44 plus 8 that is uh, 52 526 Anupama got 526 marks whereas Bhaskar here as the option contains none of this uh, so you need to check it out each and every option in case none of this is not there then you can go with only options uh, whatever the values which are given in options you just verify those values uh, those uh, persons uh, total only here none of this is said. That is the reason why I am checking down each and every value. Here Bhaskar is uh, 2 plus 7, 9. 9 plus uh, 1, 10. 15, 22, 24, 28. 2 is the carry. Next 2 plus 6. Uh, uh, 10, 12. 12, 18. 18, 23. 30. 39, 46, 468, Bhaskar total marks 468, Charu, Charu total marks, here it is 4 plus 4, 8, 8 plus 8, 16, 19, 29, 32, 3 carry, 3 plus 5, 8, 10, 15, 21, 28, 35, 41, 4, 12, and next fourth person fourth person is uh, see deepak 60 60 120 180 180 260 260 300 370 370 420 420 plus uh, 10 430 437 437 deepak and garima 90 80 170, 170, 250, 250, plus 70, 250 plus 70, 320, 320, 360, 390, 450, and next uh, plus 10, 460, 460 plus 10, 470, 474, 474, and last person Vishal, Vishal. See, as the question is asking about uh, highest marks, I think uh, there is no requirement of calculating Vishal. Why? Because uh, Vishal got less marks uh, in uh, three subjects as we calculated in the previous one. So, better to calculate this one also once uh, we will get the answers. So, if you got all the values here, it is uh, easy to calculate the problems whenever the ask, uh, asked in, uh, in the remaining problems. Okay, 50, 125. 185 and uh, 190 okay 190 250 290 320 
320 plus uh, 20. 320 plus 20, 340. 340 plus 12, 352. 352 plus 9. 352 plus 9, 361. Right? These are the total marks. Now, if you observe the uh, values, uh, who, got the, who got the highest marks in all subjects together? Here in 500, only one person is said that is uh, Anupama. Anupama is the right answer, option C. And lowest marks for Vishal. Okay, 361. Next question. What percentage of Deepak's marks? What percentage? What is the percentage of Deepak's marks uh, in all subjects together? Here, just now we calculated Deepak's total marks. Deepak's total marks, this one. Deepak's total marks, uh, just now we calculated, that is 437. Okay? 437. Right. 437. This 437 is what percentage of uh, all subjects together. You need to calculate the percentage value and the total all together how many marks? 100, 100, 100, 100. First four subjects, 400. Sir. Next 450 plus 150, 600. 437 divided by 600 into 100 percentage. That is your answer. Here two zeros, two zeros gets cancelled. Now you can cancel with the uh, 6 table, 6, 7, sir, 6, 7, sir, 42, and next uh, 6, 2, sir, 12, and next uh, 50 is there, 50 means uh, 8 times, 72.83, option D is the right answer, 72.83 percentage, that is the answer. Next question. Marks obtained by Charu in Hindi are what percent of uh, marks obtained by Anupama in the same subject? Marks obtained by Charu in Hindi. In Hindi, Charu got 64. That value is what percent of uh, marks obtained by Anupama in the same subject? Anupama in the same subject that is 85. So, you need to calculate 64 is what percent of uh, 85 64 by 85 into 100 percentage whenever you are calculating percentage into 100 is common thing and next after that here it is 6400 divided by 85 you can cancel with 5 table 5 17s 5 ones and next 5 two sir 5 8 times 0 now you can cancel with 17 table 17 7 sir 119 and next 90 is left over. 90 means 5 times. Uh, next uh, 85, 5, 50 is there. 50 means uh, 2 times 34. And next uh, 9 times 75.29 percentage. 75.29 percentage that is option D. Option D is the right answer for this question. And uh, last question in this session. What are the average marks obtained by all subject, all students together in science? In science, we need to calculate uh, average value. First, add all the values. Average means what? In general, sum of observations by. Average means sum of observations by. Number of observations. Sum of observations by. Number of observations. And now, from this, you can calculate sum of observations by adding all the values. Here, all the values in science for each and every student. 65 plus 62 plus 55 plus 70 plus 49 plus 44. Divided by number of subjects, number of persons, 6 persons, right? Now, you can add all the values. 60, uh, 5 plus 2, 7, 12, 12, 16, 25, 2 carry, 8, 14, 19, 26, 30, 34, 345 divided by 6, 345 divided by 6 which is equal to, how many times, 6, 5, 30, and next 45, next uh, 5, 6, 7, sir, 42 and still 3 is the remainder 30 means 6 5 57.5 57.5 57.5 57.5 57.5 57.5 57.5 57.5 57.5 57.5 57.5 57.5 57.5 57.5 57.5 57.5 57.5 57.5 57.5 57.5 57.5 57.5 57.5 
that is the required average 57.5 option b is the right answer for this question guys uh, that's all about this session i hope you enjoyed the session thank you thanks for watching